For the next character rig, I want to show how to use bone deformers. So this is now in two parts. I have my arm layer and I have my hand layer. So I'm going to select my arm layer. So to set up a bone deformer on this arm here, I'm going to select my arm with the transform tool and I'm going to go up to this icon here, which looks like a hammer and a wrench. Or if you don't see any of this, you can right click and select deformation. So if I select that hammer, my mouse turns into a little bullseye looking symbol. So what I can do now is I can click on different parts of this layer and add joints to it. So if I click three times, I've added two bones. So there's this bone for their upper arm and this bone for their lower arm. So right now it's in red. So that means I'm still in setup mode. So I can keep clicking and adding bones, which is not what I want to do. I want to start animating and moving this. So to do that, I need to click on the transform tool and you'll see my bones turn to green, meaning they're ready to animate and I'm not in the setup mode anymore. So to move these, I can simply select in the middle here and my mouse will turn into a rotation icon and then I can rotate my arm. But you'll see the hand doesn't follow it. So what I need to do is parent this hand underneath the bone. And the way I want to do that is with what's called a kinematic output. So to create a kinematic output, I want to go down to my layers, right click on my arm layer here and go to insert and select kinematic output. And that will add a kinematic output underneath my hierarchy. So the way I want to have this set up is I still want my arm to follow my bones. So I'm going to move my arm underneath my bottom bone here. And then I'm going to select my hand and move that so it's parented underneath the kinematic output. So now my arm artwork is underneath my hand. So I want that to be on top. So I'm going to drag my arm on top of the kinematic output like so. So now we have our arm, which is being affected by the bones as its parent. And we have the hand following the bones with this kinematic output. So now if I select my bones, my hand will follow along with it. But I also want to add a peg to my hand layer by pressing the add peg button. And then using our advanced animation tools, I'll move that pivot where it's supposed to go. So now I can move my joints and move my hand. And the hand will follow along wherever this bone moves. And if I wanted to move this arm, I could select this root joint right here and move my arm around this way. If I wanna hide this bone, like I'm not working on it right now, I can click this button up here which says show selected deformers. And what that does, since I have nothing selected, it'll hide all of my deformers. But if I select all of the objects that I wanna see bones for, and then I click this button, it'll show bones for every object I have selected. So that's how to set up bone deformers in Toon Boom Harmony. I love this tool because it's super simple to use and super simple to set up. It's a really quick way to set up a quick character rig.